Welcome, Deronda here with Foods 101. Today, I'm showing you how to make these pumpkin scones. Simple, easy to make, yet delicious to eat on these chilly fall days. The ingredients you're gonna need is two cups of all-purpose flour, three-fourths of a cup of milk, or if you wanna use cream, you may do that, one tablespoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of your pumpkin pie spice. And if you don't have pumpkin pie spice, go ahead and use a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a fourth of a teaspoon of ginger, and a fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. And I'll put that below in the description box. Two thirds of a cup of pumpkin puree. This is 100% pure pumpkin. This is what you're looking for in the supermarket. 100% pure pumpkin. This is what you're gonna need. Very important for these scones. One half cup of butter. You want your butter nice and chilled. You don't want it soft. And one third of a cup of sugar. Let me show you how simple and easy these are to make. In a medium bowl, I'm adding my flour with the sugar, the pumpkin pie spice, and the baking powder with a whisk. You're gonna incorporate these four ingredients well together. Unwrap your butter, chef's knife. We're going to cut it in the center. Okay, and then we're gonna flip it over, cut it through the center again to cut it down into cubes, as you can see. I love cutting it on its own paper because you can just lift it up and see it makes no mess. Add it back into those dry ingredients we just combined with a pastry tool, or you may use two knives if you don't have a pastry tool, and you just start cutting the butter into the dry ingredients. I'm gonna go ahead and use my pastry tool. I'm going to need to switch to a larger bowl. This will make it a lot easier. Once it's looking like this, you see how fine that texture is? That's what you're looking for. Put this in the freezer and let it chill while we mix wet ingredients. Add your milk along with that pumpkin puree. Give it a lovely whisking until these two ingredients are well combined. I've got my dry ingredients out of the freezer. I'm making a little well here in the bottom. Add in your wet ingredients. With a fork, we're going to gently bring the dry ingredients in with the wet ingredients until you no longer see the white flour. Very important here, you don't wanna over mix your scone mixture. And at this time, if you wanna add about a cup of dried cranberries, raisins, walnuts, almonds, use whatever you'd like. But today, I'm just opting out of using all those fruits and nuts. I just wanna make a basic pumpkin scone. This is now perfectly blended. I've got parchment paper down. I got an eight by eight inch glass baking dish with a pencil. Go around to get an outline of how big we need to pat out our pumpkin scone dough. Add a little bit of flour. Add your scone dough right here on top of the flour because it's gonna be very sticky. With a little bit more flour, pat it out into an eight by eight inch square. Follow your guidelines here on the parchment paper. Cut down into the dough. Then we're going to make four squares. And then we're going to turn the four squares in to four squares. Now make sure you keep that knife floured. There you have your 16 scones. Transfer these over to a baking sheet where I've lined my baking sheet with parchment paper right here. It's not necessary, but do not butter your pan if you're not gonna use parchment paper. Gently brush on a little milk to coat the top of each of your scones. Got my oven preheating to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I've got these little crystals of sugar. Now this isn't necessary. You can use regular sugar or you can use sugar and cinnamon or you can use cinnamon and sprinkle the tops of each 
scum. Off to the oven they go. On the middle rack for 25 minutes, use your timer and no peeking. Pumpkin scones have baked. I can smell that pumpkin pie spice in that pumpkin. They look absolutely fantastic. I know it's gonna be a little warm. Look how golden they are on the bottom. Woo, that's hot. We're gonna let them cool off. Here's our lovely platter of scones. Serve plain by themselves with butter, jam, whatever your favorite. I'm going to break it open. I'm going to show you what it's like on the inside. Nice, moist. How delicious will this be with a cup of coffee or tea or just milk for the kids? Got to give it a try. Mmm. Has a lovely crunch on the outside. Nice, moist. Mmm. I can taste that pumpkin spice along with that pumpkin and that little touch of sugar here on the top. Mmm, just gives it an extra punch of sweetness. Mmm, I really like that. Serve these for a brunch, serve them at breakfast. They keep in an airtight container up to three days. They freeze well up to three months. You will not be disappointed with these pumpkin scones. A perfect treat for the fall season. Fantastic. I'm Deronda with Foods 101. Give me thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Follow me here on YouTube and Instagram. Thanks a million for watching you all and I'll catch you lovely people later. Bye.